we're so excited to be able to introduce you, Kyle, uh, and the company Della V Sciences. So welcome. And so, so Kyle, I've been using it for a while, though people in my family and my friends keep asking for my bottles. So I, I, I run out. Poor Kyle's been hearing from both of us. Uh, please send more. But I've been using it on my, my skin. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but you, I agree with, with the, the test subjects. 100% of people who use it see a reduction in wrinkles and an increase in smoothness of, of the skin. And I definitely see the plumpness. Um, yeah, and the plumpness from the hyaluronic acid as well. And I'm not a big cosmetic guy, but I can tell you the difference. I, I feel so much better. It's like it's, it's not all crusty and dry, like a typical uh, male who doesn't look after himself. And <laughs> I've, tried a bunch, I've tried a bunch of products. Um, and often ah. they're just they're just wet creams. This is not. This is bioactive. This actually stimulates your body's defenses against aging by targeting the SERP1 enzyme that we've studied for 20 years in my lab. So think of it this way: it's not just moisturizing and doing the usual stuff. It's protecting the skin and turning on the long-term protection against aging itself. Well, I put it under my eyes. I think it helps that, but it certainly makes fewer wrinkles under here. I'm 53 and I don't have many wrinkles under here, and I attribute that to Kyle's product. Um, as well as my other lifestyle, but it's it you can use it under the eyes often I'm told be careful under there But this is a, for me at least I find that it, it's not irritating at all And it this is one of the areas I really focus on as a 53 year old man. This is where aging shows up first <laughs> One of them she's actually put into a product uh, that she sent me to try the other day It's called one skin and I, I, I'm not an advisor to this group or anything, but it did seem to work. It looked just as good as Retin-A, which is the, the leading product that is used to reduce fine lines and wrinkles too. Um, there's some other stuff, but let's start with topical treatments. Um, these are creams that you rub on your head. Um, do, do these things work? Oh, they undoubtedly worked. Um, this is minoxenol, um, also known as Rogaine. It was first discovered in the 1960s from uh, a group that was trying to lower blood pressure. So what it does is it stimulates nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide is important in Viagra, opens up the blood vessels, and they put it into patients and they found that they got extra hair growth. And a few months later, yeah, some of them got new hair. And then in the 1980s, it was formulated with uh, an oily substance called DMSO to get it through the skin layer in the scalp and found that it actually does slow down hair loss, mostly at the back of the head, uh, but also uh, here, even though it's not recommended here, it does work if you apply it across the whole top like that. Retin-A also works for promoting uh, antigen? Yeah, that's a, a little known fact. If you have some retinol cream, 0.5%, you can rub it on your on your skin to reduce wrinkles, but you can also rub it on the parts of your hair that are thinning out or you don't want to lose hair. And especially in combination with Rogaine or Minoxenol, it works quite effectively to slow that aging process. It's an oily substance. It doesn't look good, doesn't feel good. So most people stop doing that regularly. But there's an alternative that uh, doctors are recommending, which is taking a pill. Propecia. Propecia, also known as finasteride. I use um, a couple of, or th about three different types of creams at night. I have a moisturizer, which was developed in my lab. And so that one has some uh, bioavailable resveratrol and some other things that are they're good. There's betaine in there, um, high, small amounts of hyaluronic acid. I think I'll talk about hyaluronic acid a little bit. That's a, it's a, it's a string of sugars that cells use to remain plump and actually it can also defend against cancer. And uh, so I have a hyaluronic acid product, but there are small hyaluronic acid pieces that go in. So I, I take supplements, but they don't, they don't, don't all get to the, get to the skin. And so um, what I like to do is I use this topical cream uh, that gets in at night. It's got the, the moisturizers, the hyaluronic acid. It's got mm -hmm. these other molecules in it. The other thing that I do is um, I'm actually mixing in a little bit of, uh, of retinol. So retinol will increase cell div uh, division, um, mm -hmm. and it does help with wrinkles. So you know, at 52, uh, you know, you're meant to have a lot of wrinkles. So far, I haven't gotten that many. And I think part of it is, is the retinol treatment. I put it here, mm -hmm. and I put it here. Well, so I use 0.5%. Um, uh, which is, I think, a, a moderately high dose. Actually, I don't put it straight on my skin because it can actually cause dryness, I find. I mix it with uh, my moisturizer and apply it that way. And mm -hmm. so the amount that I put on my finger is the size of a, about a half a pea. And uh, 
Um, I tend not to go close to the eyes because if it gets in your eyes, it can really hurt. But I, I do actually go higher than most people recommend. I get under there and, you know, I don't have any bags or, or a lot of wrinkles under there. And I think that's partly what's helping. Here's another, here's a, here's a secret and a hack for the guys, women who are having uh, thinning hair. Uh, I rub it here where, you know, I think it's, it's prone to being thin. And it's known that, um, that retinol actually lengthens the hair growth phase. Um, and then the third thing that I apply to my skin um, is a peptide that I thought to boost skin d- division as well. And so together, I, I think I have uh, improved my skin over the years. If you look at my photos from even five years ago mm-hmm. uh, and, and t- even 10 years ago, my skin was not as good. And so that's really shows that the power of science can actually work. Mm-hmm. Uh, and all of these things I'm talking about today are backed by scientific studies. But pe- people on the internet are claiming that I've had plastic surgery. The answer is no, I haven't done any plastic surgery. 